Hello everyone, it's Erica here, your favorite glam guru, and I am here to welcome in this new motherfucking paradigm, y'all. It's April 1st, and that is no fucking fooling, okay? We got the Aries moon and Aries sun. So, if it's been pretty crazy lately, aggressive, violent, arguing, all that is coming up for a very good reason. And that reason is to let it go, release it, and let it flow on so it's no longer holding you back. These are ancient, ancient programs. These are past life. These are from this lifetime. These are energies that are not serving us. We are here today, April 1st, in the astrological new year, new moon. It is a powerful time, y'all, a very powerful time, and we are here for it. I wanted to share with you a little story about a major release that I think everyone could benefit from. And as I have been growing in my spirituality and my gifts and helping others and everything else, I tell you, it's not always easy. It's not always pretty. You see me here talking to you nicely about it, but that was not the case a few days ago. Um, it was a lot of agitation energy, you know, but I knew, you know, I'm far along enough to know that if some shit is coming up, it's coming up to get my attention to just get on out. And that's what we did. So I was working with my coach, Sarah Ashley, yesterday, and we were talking about the many different spirits. Now, everything in the world has a spirit. Most most of you see me maybe talking about the money spirit, okay? The money spirit is a generous, fun-loving best friend who just wants you to enjoy, right? But there are underworld spirits. There are darker spirits. For example, the one we're going to speak about today is the spirit of control. Now, Allow, if you will, your mind to kind of wrap around the fact that different spirits, a.k.a. some people refer to them as demons, are truly only there to serve you and to protect you and to help you with what you have let it know that you need. Now, the spirit of control is a big one. So it's no coincidence that this came up with the Aries new moon. Because let's talk about Aries for a second, y'all. What are they? Controlling, violent, short-tempered, aggressive, stubborn, okay? Aries is almost intolerable at times. And I can speak on this because I've had several relationship with Aries. However, there is a positive side to Aries, and that is the light the fire under your ass motivation to get things done. So yesterday during this session with Sarah, it was a very, very powerful release, a release and basically like a thank you, thank you for knowing you, okay? The spirit of control will come into our body when we absolutely need it for safety. Just like many of the spirits that we do call in, oftentimes are really only coming to us to protect us and the idea and the motto about control is that if you control everything around you you can make sure that you don't get hurt and whatnot however in the long run 
it actually does you a disservice because it is taking away the trust that you must cultivate to have the flow of the divine coming through. Now, let's just feel into your body for a little bit. The, the spirit of control comes to you when you feel unsafe in a situation that you're in. So when you are feeling in your body, in your surroundings, unsafe, the spirit of control is going to assist you in learning how to hyper-focus, maybe control what you can in your environment to give you that sense of safety that you don't have. Like I said, it's there for you when you need it. However, it continues to stick around far after you actually need it, and that's when it becomes a hindrance to your growth, to your expansion, to your trust, and to calling in the divine flow that you're actually trying to call in. Yesterday, when Sarah had us feel into you know, how that spirit of control feels. And like, I can see that spirit of control. I can see in my third eye what the spirit of control looks like. And I see him as a very strong, muscly type guy, right? And he's just ready to take it over, you know? He's not going to let anyone fuck with you when he's in you, right? So that's why we need him. But guess what? We didn't need him anymore. And it was like allowing my body to let that control spirit go was not only freeing for me, but it was freeing for the control spirit too. If you want to kind of see these different spirits as like genie in a lamp, how they kind of can flow out of that lamp and they're like, oh, I'm free, I'm free. Truly the control spirit, as well as any other spirit of the underworld, aka demons, really only wants to go home to the light. So what they're going to do is keep causing disturbances in your 3D reality to get your attention that they are there so that you can give them what they need. Most of the time, it's simple acknowledgement that they exist, unconditional love, and a light path, a rainbow bridge on home. So that's what we did. And I felt this control spirit that had been living inside of me for so long as necessary because when I was living a very rough life, when I was living a very, um, I could say, impoverished, uh, violent type life and I was the sole protector as a single mom of kids that had no dads, um, I had to be that one to rise up and run the fucking show. I had to be the one to, like, I hate to say it like this, but be the man, right? And of course, no female ever wants to be put in that position. But when we are forced into single motherhood through, I should say, <laughs> some programming that uh, you've been programmed with, that's been released, thankfully. But you can't fully be in your feminine flow when you are harboring these wounded masculine traits, okay? Now, to be in your full feminine essence is to be playful, trusting, happy, flowy, in the vibes, sexual, sensual, loving, Okay, trusting that everything is working out, um, not, not needing to control the how of how things will happen, okay? 
And if you are on a manifesting journey, this is so important to release the control. Now, I felt into my body, right? I felt into how I wasn't feeling safe and it did feel so constricting. It was very, very constricting inside of my body and it wasn't very flowy and sweet and nice, right? The spirit of control is there to get shit done, make shit happen, protect you, okay? And when you want to be in your feminine flow, that just isn't, that's just not the vibe, yo. It's just not the vibe. So I had a nice little chat with the spirit of control who had done such a wonderful job of keeping me and my kids safe for all those years, for doing such a wonderful job of giving me the motivation I needed to be the sole provider, the sole protector. That spirit of control came to me when I was so weak that I just didn't know how to carry on. And that spirit of control was there for me. And I thanked him for that. And I recalled numerous times where the spirit of control had saved my ass and given me that aggression that I needed to control certain situations that if there was no one there to control it, it would have ended up in harm for me or my kids. So when I let the spirit of control go, I felt a freedom that I have probably never really felt before that I can recall. And I'm picturing myself right now in this healing as I'm speaking to you about it. And I see how he simply just flowed out. And me and him have a pretty good relationship, right? This is what it's talking about when you say, you love your demons, you know, because when you understand that they're there to serve you, you have to have nothing but straight out love for them. And I saw the spirit of control in all his strength. And we had not been separate. He had been in me for a very, very long time. He was flying free. I was sitting there free from feeling him inside of me. And the thing about it is I can always call him back if I need him or a different one. Um, that's the thing. You can always call them back if you feel that you need them. But they're just not necessary for everyday life anymore once you have done a bit of healing. And um, for me especially, my main goal was to flourish in my feminine energy and not have um, any masculine traits or wounded masculine traits holding me back from that trust. I need to um, just experience life as a female who is taken care of by the universe, by source. And I allow and I trust that whatever it is that I need or desire will be provided to me. And that's a feminine characteristic. When the spirit of control lives inside of you, you don't have the ability to trust that you will be provided for. You instead feel compelled to go after what you believe you need or want because you don't fully trust that it will just flow to you at the right place at the right time. So 
me and the spirit of control, we're tight. We're besties. And while we're no longer sharing a body, I got a mad respect for the spirit of control. I got a mad love for the spirit of control and everything he's done for me over the years. I know that in the future, if I ever get myself into some kind of a situation where I need the spirit of control, I can call him in and he will take over me and do the job. And I also trust now that probably won't happen. Now I can focus on new spirits, the spirit of money, the spirit of creativity, the spirit of femininity, the spirit of sexuality, nice, happy, flowy, flower spirits, fairy spirits, okay? So if you are mopping what I'm spilling and you feel that you have the spirit of control inside of you and you want him gone or any spirit you know today we're shining a spotlight on my good friend the spirit of control but there are so many spirits so many especially on this earth and every time that we allow a underworld spirit to leave us and transmute and go home to the light we're doing our part as light workers to raise the vibration because control is a low vibration right control anger stuff like that that's a very low vibration so in essence when we carry those spirits inside of us it actually lowers our vibration and when our vibration is low, we're not going to feel very um, high vibe and flowy. And that's just facts. Stuff needs to be dealt with, people. And the sooner you deal with it, the sooner that you can live a life of flowing and abundance. So, I hope you enjoyed this story time video. Um, please comment below what you think. Um, I know at least 12 people got to experience this healing with Sarah yesterday. And I can also help you with a healing experience if you need. And I'm just very thankful right now. I am starting off this new moon with a lot of gratitude for everything I've gone through. And it truly, truly does feel like a rebirth for myself. It really does feel like a new year. And it really feels like a new paradigm, a new life. Um, and everything is pointing in the direction of what I truly want in my life. And that is divine union with my twin flame. That is money flow, currency flow, my children getting along nicely with me, friends, great friends, um, building my business, both of them, um, attracting the right people in my soul tribe, enjoying my life getting to experience pleasure frequently and often, loving myself, caring for myself, enjoying caring for myself, and all my cute pets. These are just a few of the things that I'm calling in, I'm maintaining in this new year and things I've let go of, control spirit, anger, jealousy, revenge, things like that, low vibes, you know, poverty mindset, fuck all that shit. 
Goodbye. Not gonna be in my divine vessel no mo. We're calling in gratitude, happiness, abundance, flow, peace, maybe a little bit of ruckus and rowdiness, of course, partying, right? Socializing, having fun. This is all my goals, y'all. So if you would like, start a chat in the comments. Tell me, what are some things you're releasing and what are some things you are calling in and we can all hold space for each other. And yeah, that was that. I hope you enjoyed my video. Message me if you need me. And holla at your girl.